think it's a really, really special story, um, which has a lot of meaning f for me personally, because it just it conjures up all kinds of childhood feelings. Initially, because I've worked a lot with Rupert Gould, the director and an adapter um, over the years, um, and uh, he very kindly <laughs> asked me to take part in it. So it was an easy decision to make because we've got a, a long-standing relationship in that regard. And also I was inspired by the material. One of the first conversations I had was with Charlie, our producer, who said, well, for Peter Pan, we had a full orchestra. And, I, and immediately as a composer, that's exciting. But then of course you think, okay, a full orchestra, but how does that fit the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe? How do I make that something that's specific to our production? I had to think about Narnia and the fact that it's under snow most of the time and the whole story is about warming up and thawing. And I had to think about the, you know, the, the music historically that for me has a lot to do with temperature and going from a cold state to a warm state. There's an Aslan theme, which is a sort of noble brass theme, and it's sort of in um, it's in kind of consecutive fourths. Bum 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 bum. We have a long journey to go. The witch and the dwarf have interconnected themes. The witch's theme is kind of uh, it's 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 high flutes, and it's also connected to the snow. And it's that kind of jump, 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 jump theme. I love the battle scene. I think the battle scene's fantastic with uh, everyone on the bungee ropes and um, the music going mad. And I've, you know, I've been given sort of four minutes worth of theatrical space in which to write something quite symphonic, which is really unusual in theatre. I suppose one aim of mine when I set about making the music and the sound for this was to give the audience who came to see the show a, a similar feeling, obviously I can't give them the same feeling, but a similar feeling to what I had when I was a child reading those books because it was when when I was when I was called and asked to work on The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, immediately my memories of reading it returned and it's it was such a sort of special story for me when I was a child that if, um, if I've managed to give anyone who comes to see this show the same or a similar kind of feeling then I'll go away a happy person.